What's up, everybody? Let me get this straight so you guys can see. All right, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to get Tim's uh, 17 and up to recognize the Note 5 phones. Um, a couple things you have to do to the phone in the settings in order for Tim's to recognize the phone. So uh, we'll go through that right now. So the first thing you have to do is go to the dial pad. Now in the dial pad, uh, there's some codes for, let me adjust this. All right, there are codes to get into the settings of the phone. Uh, one of the codes that we're gonna use is star pound 0808 pound. So it's gonna take us to the USB settings menu. So now for the phones to be recognized by Tim's, it has to be on RNDIS plus ACM plus DM plus ADB. Now it has to be on that. So if your phone is not on that, make sure you put it on that and hit OK. You may have to do reboot, but for now we'll just do OK. Once that's done, we go to the settings. So go to settings here. Boom. All right, we scroll all the way down till we see to about device. So now when we get into about device, we go to bill number. And you hit bill number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've already done it, so you know it's going to uh, already be there. But it does. Uh, my battery is low on this phone, so I plug it in. Get a charge. Um, but once I do that, uh, developer options will be open. So uh, the uh, developer options menu will show up. So now we have developer options. And we need to make sure that the USB debugging is on. So now, once the USB debugging is on, now the phone is ready to be connected. Okay, so now that we have Tim's open, I'm using Tim's 17.2.6. Uh, we plug the phone in. And it will begin detecting. So now it's showing up. And what Tim's does. Uh, for the Note 5s, Tim 17, what it does for the Note 5s, it installs the on-device support for the phone. And the reason why it has to have on-device support, which is ODM, if you guys know about ODM, but what it does is install the on-device support onto the actual phone, which allows us to use a script to, to dial VoTE calls. So, uh, with the Note 5, sometimes with the company I work for, we scan band 12, which is L700, um, L19, and L2100. And in order for the phone to work with the script, it has to have the on-device settings onto it. Now, my phone, when it comes up, it comes up with a yellow exclamation mark. Now, to get rid of the yellow exclamation mark, what you do is right-click, you do install on-device to UE, so it'll install the on-device program onto the device so it'll go through its little steps and once it finishes it will ask you to reboot the device so do I want to reboot yes I want to reboot and it's gonna reboot my phone and once my phone is rebooted it should show up without the yellow exclamation mark. If it has the yellow exclamation mark on the equipment side on the uh, actual UE, then you will not be able to activate the device. So once you install the U the ODM onto the device and the device reboots and it comes back up, you should be able to activate the device. So let's give it a second. It's going through the ports. Uh, initializing the phone, getting everything set up, checking the on-device support. Phone is back on. So we give it a second. All 
and it's initializing and after it finishes initializing boom it pops up no yellow exclamation mark now I can hit activate make sure activate it it takes a couple couple minutes seconds um, the phone goes to airplane mode I don't know if you guys can see this I don't want to adjust it but the phone goes to airplane mode and then once it gets out of airplane mode it will connect and let's let it connect All right, it's connected. As you can see inside my box, I have some I have some frequency. I have some uh, it shows the frequency, shows the PCIs, shows the signal strength, all of that. So, just want to show you that it works. Hold on a second. So I'm gonna load. All right, I'm gonna load my script. So I go to, let me zoom out a little bit. Clear this up. All right, cool. So I go to control and config, which takes me to the play, the area where I can load my script and the service control designer. I go to open. I have a script that says one phone. So it's on this one phone script. It only works with the one phone. I'm just gonna save save it in the temporary file folder, just drive testing, hit okay. And then when I run the script, show you that it works. Script and run. And Show you that it works with my phone. Call, call, attempt. Call, set up. Call, established. Now it's recording the data. So that is how you, let me stop the script. Call, end. And it works. And that is how you use the Note 5s with Tim's 17 and up. Have any questions? Let me know. All right, peace.